Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for the cryptocurrency market for Monday, uh, November 23rd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, uh, where we have a signal service and you get full access to our commodities uh, analysis and also our online courses and online trading. Um, we have around 90 traders training on, the, on our Patreon at the moment, and you're welcome to join us over there. The subscription uh, the link is down below. Sorry. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and this is just uh, an amazing move from Bitcoin. From October, uh, where it was at 11,000, until now in, um, in uh, the end of November, where we are at 18,739. That is absolutely crazy. That's almost a move of 100, uh, nearly 100% in, well, nearly one and a half a month. So... That is amazing, uh, but this won't last forever. We are at the moment significantly overbought. We are overstretched, and and a tumble from here can happen at any point. Everybody is just waiting for it because we've been here before. We were here um, back in 2017 when we had this major move to the upside, when we created this massive bubble in the cryptocurrency market. And uh, this is also... Well, this is bubblish. This is, it, it looks very similar, but it is not the same thing. Um, if you look at other markets which are which have this uh, hockey shape and so on, it is a very um, it is very common to basically uh, to uh, categorize this as a basically a bubble. People are just buying and buying and buying, expecting this to go higher and higher. And because everybody's buying, then this market, of course, goes higher, and then you buy even more. And uh, therefore, at some point, people will come in and just absolutely pull the rug out of this market. And that's what happened back in 2017. And it fell all the way down to 3,000. I don't think that's going to happen this time, but we are going to see a major amount of selling when we get to these uh, very highs. People are just waiting at their um, that in, with their with their cash ready now to basically short this to oblivion. Um, how far we will we go? That is the question. Um, I'm pretty sure that we'll get all the way up to twenty thousand, uh, twenty thousand two hundred. That is the very highs. I think that we are going to get all the way up to twenty to, uh, to that level, and that means that if we take twenty thousand here, we had the Fibonacci retracements here. The first one is at uh, thirteen thousand eight hundred. I think that fifteen thousand is going to be quite a lot of support. But first Fibonacci is thirteen thousand eight hundred nine hundred. Next one is uh, the fifteen that is at twelve thousand, and there is probably where this will stop. I don't really see that we're going to drop significantly lower than that. We're not going to see this move here. Um, so it's going to be interesting if we get to 20,000, but I do believe that we're going to see something similar to this, but just not that drastic. All the way down to the 200 moving average is probably not going to happen. We're going to see a major pullback uh, towards the 50, maybe uh, the, the 60, I don't think that's going to happen, but the 50 at 12,000, that is that's very likely. And that will also make sense because we have these previous highs here all the way back here. So one, two, uh, nearly two, and three here. So that would make a lot of sense to pull back towards the, the 12,000 and then go even higher from there. That is most likely what is going to happen. Technical guys convert for Bitcoin are looking... Uh, they're not as bullish now as they were. Uh, we can see that uh, we are significantly overbought, and the um, CCI is a little bit bullish. The stochastic is not, but the MACD is really bullish. So this is not a market you can buy into at this point. It is going to be a major pullback, but you can sell it when it starts to pull back. And it is a question where how far we'll go. We'll find support here at 15, but 12 is most likely where we'll end at. That will probably take a few weeks to be balanced. So Ethereum, we can see that we have rallied yet again uh, in this market. It has 
um, it has at the moment it is overbought. It is 70, 70, 75. But but apparently cryptocurrency can be significantly overbought before they even fall. Um, you can just see over here we were at I think we were at uh, eighty six something like that when we were in the previous highs here before we fell. So we have some move to the upside yet. Uh, other bull indicators are also very bullish, so we'll probably go higher. We found uh, resistant here, which also was previous resistant over here. So if we can manage to break above this, we'll go target all the way up to 1800, but that is not realistic. We'll have a, a RSI that is enormously high, if that were the case. So a pullback towards the 50, that opens, the, that is a really good buying opportunity. And that is, that is a move that I'm looking forward to. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, and uh, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. We have a signal service and we have uh, around 90 traders using that service already after two weeks. So good luck and thank you very much.